Hey Gina, have you ever heard about the circular economy? Yeah, isn't it like recycling what you have and to use resources in a more sufficient manner? So, like not using more than we need? Yep, the circular economy is a way for us to be sufficient with the resources that we currently have. But that's only a very tiny part. Have you heard the term upcycle and downcycle? Upcycle? Is it when we repurpose some rubbish into raw material? And downcycle? I'm not sure at all. Is it something we normally use and throw away? It's exactly that. It's when you have waste with zero to very little value and you make it great and valuable. But for downcycle, let me ask you a question. How old are your clothes? Most of my clothes are at least four to five years. Okay, so what do you do after that? After the size won't fit me anymore, or I getting bored. I let it sit in my wardrobe until my mom get mad. Eventually, she donated it or turned it into rugs. Well, turning your old clothes into rugs is essentially downcycle because you're repurposing something, but in doing so, lowers the functionality and the quality of the material. So reusing it is a sufficient way for us to not overconsume the resources that we have. Ah, then the circular economy seems to relate to the concept of sufficiency that is about how to use the most of the products or even to repurpose after its initial lifetime. What about something you can't upcycle at all? Like love, I, I mean plastics. I heard it took hundreds of years to forget someone, I mean to break plastic down. It takes a lot of time and energies. That's forever. I think plastic is kind of villain here. Well, maybe plastic bags isn't always the villain. Maybe it's the hero we never actually hear about. In fact, back in the 1960s, when plastic bags were first invented, it was actually meant to be a sustainable alternative to paper bags whose production meant cutting down trees, which causes deforestation. Hmm. So the concept of using plastic to encourage a sufficient economy has been around for a while. People just do not consciously realize how to use the most out of it. But I'm so worried, man. People have to drink water every day, right? If everyone drink only one plastic bottle every day, it will be 7 billion of plastic waste being thrown away every single day. Don't worry, Gino, because some of us can't avoid the use of plastic bottles. There are so many awesome people out there wanting to make a difference. For example, Adidas collaborated with Parleys for the Oceans to create sneakers using yarn made from recycled plastic waste and illegal deep sea gill nets. Another company in Canada called JD Composites built 60,000 homes using recycled plastic bottles. And these are just a few examples. But at the end of the day, it is important for us to realize that no matter what shape or form, bags or bottles, if we keep producing new plastic waste without properly recycling them or reusing them, it's only going to pile up in the landfill and stay there for like 100 years. Wow, it seems like people around the world are making change about plastic. What about is there someone in Southeast Asia regions? Or even in Thailand, is there someone really working on it? Of course, there are so many awesome plastic heroes here in Southeast Asia. In fact, let me introduce you to Indorama Ventures and all the wonderful things they're doing to make plastic great again. That sounds amazing. That's right. Glad I can help improve your relationship with plastic to be a little more sustainable. Yeah, no more toxic relationship with plastic. What about all our friends who are watching? What do you guys think about plastic? Comment down below and be sure to stay tuned for next week's video. And if you'd like to learn more about today's topic, head over to Indorama Ventures website to find out about all the wonderful things they're doing for our planet. And don't forget, sufficiency is efficiency. Bye! Bye!